Hello everyone and welcome back to that game that we've been playing. Yeah, we're playing it again. Right, let's jump into it. We are going to make a line like this. Oh no, that's not a good line. Keep it, hey, keep it straight. Come on now, mouse, don't be derpy. It's probably my hand's fault. And then we're going to have a line like this. I thought this is a cool suggestion. I'm pretty sure the one on the right is going to win. But I want to know what's going to happen. And we're doing with the shields. It could be that it happens very different with the different types of units that you can use. But anyway, as always, thank you for your suggestions. You can leave them in the comment box down below. For the next video, I'll be picking out your suggestions, the things that we will do. And if you enjoy this series, leave a like for some more totally derpy, accurate battle simulator, simulator battling, whatever the game is called. <laughs> I always seem to get it wrong. Anyway, here we go. Bam! It looks like it's going to be a landslide. <laughs> but it's a really strange sort of mechanic. Red is piling into the middle. And they're actually putting up a little bit of resistance. <laughs> Just so derpy. So derpy. It looks like Red are getting walked over. Like literally getting walked over. <laughs> oh my days. It's a landslide for Blue. Definite victory for there. Oh, this guy's getting mangled. Mangled down there. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> getting in and amongst a, a crowd of people getting trampled there on the ground. Okay, that was a lot of fun. we got to do that again. We're doing this one with the Barbarians, aka the Barbarans, and look at this, the grid is 60 by 60. We have learnt a thing. We have learnt a thing, and now we're going to do another thing, which is watch all of these derps, all these guys with cubs. <laughs> oh my days, they're going to get trampled again. And it looks like... <laughs> Red's get, they're all getting squashed. Look at this, it's a pile of bodies. They're climbing over it. They're climbing a mountain of bodies. We've got to like do this on the next level, because this is just hilarious. Literally climbing over a mountain of bodies. And that time it wasn't so one-sided. But it is once again a blue victory. We have successfully doubled up. The computer may say no. It may say no. It may say have no frames. Uh, hopefully the frames will pick up. Look at this. It's, oh, they're spreading out this time. With two rows of them, they've split up. And it kind of looks like blue is getting run out of the park now. I don't know. There's, there's more to see here, really. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> Will we get any more frames? There we go. The frames are returning. Now that the bodies are dead, frames are returning. These two, um, they're like conjoined twins. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that right there. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, where are you going? We're going this way now. The conjoined twins are going off over there. I'll leave them to it. Where's that guy running? It looks like mostly red are left. Look, they're having all these little victories all over the place and we're missing out on it. I think red are going to win this one. Yeah, they split up as they charged into the wall. And it, oh, wow. His cub went flying. <laughs> oh, man, it is scraps. Actually, there's quite a few blues over here as well. How did they get all spaced out? We had a big pile of bodies last time. This time we didn't get that. I thought it would be quite funny to make a, uh, <laughs> a mountain of bodies. Good night, sweet prince. Good night, sweet prince. I think, I think we need to have a conversation about this tree. The, the tree's not good yet. Yeah, head over there. And you as well. Come on. Leave the tree alone. Poor little tree. Getting hugged to death. <laughs> I feel like this guy is the smartest person on the map. Because he's clearly going to be outnumbered against these. So all he does is run in a circle. And these guys aren't smart enough to stop and go, Wait a minute, why don't we? Oh no, you tripped over that body. Your plan might fail now. Yeah, they're not smart enough to think, Oh, let's stand here for a minute and walk the other way. He's got bad news because his teammates have died and we've got a horde coming in from the... Oh, apparently they killed him. <laughs> Fair enough. Well done, Red. Well done. Okay, it's not quite the same, but we're just messing around with the stuff that we've done. And this time it's with footmen. So we've got frames. Which is good. What are they doing? What strategy is this? It's the go around the side strategy. What is that? <laughs> I do not know why they've done that, but it's interesting that they've chosen to do that. Very strange behaviour. Um, it looks like it could be the master plan to come back around here and swarm this little crowd of guys. It kind of looks like it's worked. Although we lost that battle in the middle there. I always assume that we are red. Wow, that looks painful. <laughs> that looks painful. Blue are winning this. Blue are clearly going to win this. Terrible tactics from the red team. So, I can't see any red guys that are alive, but they're all heading over there. And over here is where a second ago there was some glitchiness. Oh, I think I see something on the horizon. What's that over there? Okay, not seen this before. Looks like he potentially got thrown over to this corner, but now he's, he's sort of disappeared. Oh, and blue wins. 
You might be wondering what you're looking at. We got 60 peasants versus one of every unit type. This was another request from the comments. So let's see how this one plays out. In goes the chariot. That's going to do so much damage. Those numbers there instantly reduced. Don't hit your own teammates. Come on now, don't do that. Do you know, I don't think these peasants are going to win. And it might be a question of how many peasants can defeat one of each type of unit. Okay, that cannon isn't very effective. It's really about the ballistics, I think. There you go, taking them out. There's about three left. These two are trying to have a hug. That guy's got a spear for his neck. And it's a red victory. It's a long way down, buddy. Two rows of peasants. We've given them double the amount of troops. 120 presents. Presents? <laughs> peasants versus one of each unit. Here we go. I got a feeling this time they're going to get swarmed. However, it depends. I really think it depends on where the ballistic lands. At the moment, it's not shooting at the crowd. Cannon guy's getting attacked. Don't shoot at your cannon guy now. Shoot at the crowd. Come on. Look at that. Some real chance to do damage here. We've lost the uh, the chariot. And I really don't think we're going to win this one. <laughs> oh, he's taking them out. Catapult guy's having a bad time. He's taking a rest now. He's taking a little bit of a rest. <laughs> yeah, Blue's going to win this one. We know it. It's just a matter of time. It's taken them quite some time, though, to... <laughs> sort this guy out. There we go. I love this next suggestion. It's going to be one footman versus peasants increasing each time. So obviously the footman will kill one peasant. So we're going to start off with two and then we'll increase it to three and four and see how many it takes for the peasants to win. So right in his face and it's a red victory. I was going to say for a second there, it feels like maybe while he's attacking one, the other one overpowers him. Um, I guess it depends on how much damage they can resist from the peasants. You know, behind the scenes there's probably some sort of damage system and it depends on how that works. So, 3v1. Oh, they've gone around the back side of him. He's whacked him. He's taken down the other one. <laughs> oh, it's going to be close. Nope, it's another red victory. Awesome. So he can take out three. Guess what we're going to do next? I've got a feeling that you know. We're going to do four. That's right. Okay, in we jump. Four peasants versus one swordsman. Oh, this is so cool. Come on now, take on the horde. Give them a whack. Oh, he's been surrounded quickly. Oh, he's down! Down, four of them. That's all it took. And that is the last one. 49 cannon crews versus 49 cannon crews. This is what you wanted. This is what you wanted. <laughs> this right here. Which is going to turn into absolute chaos. Oh my goodness me. I didn't really think about how this would play out too much, but... Kind of predictable, I guess. They stand at the line where they see the enemies. So they shoot across this middle bit. And then it's all about collateral damage. The ones at the back that survive move up. And some of them are probably going to get stuck behind this pile of bodies. That guy's having a bad time. <laughs> Look at the way he's climbing over it. So silly. Go on, keep on going. Oh, that guy's been wrecked. Yeah, it looks like Blue might just have one left, actually. No, nope. that one's been taken out. Who else is alive? Who's even moving? This guy back here? It looks like it might be 1v1 at the moment. Oh, that guy as well. He's been taken out. Okay, I can see a couple of cannons moving on the other side. It might take a while for this one to end, mightn't it? Oh, and there it is. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, here's a little sneaky peek of what we might be doing more of in the next episode. So we did a 1v1 episode of each unit. We're doing boxes. I've had a request to do a line versus line of each unit, which I think would be really cool. And here we go. Oh, they've, they've sort of bunched up together here. What are they doing? That's not how you fight. What are you playing at? Oh, if I could control this camera better, that would be nice. <laughs> what are you two doing? I don't know. I don't know. There's a couple over here as well that look like they're holding hands. <laughs> uh, either way, it looks like red is just swarming blue here. That was a bit of a landslide, wasn't it? Okay, peasants. One line versus another line. This is going to be the last one that we do, I think. And we'll save these for their own episode, Line versus Lines. And again, the red side are getting like a little bit grouped up. So are some of the blues as well. This is peasants, if I didn't mention it. And this time, it looks like blue is getting the upper hand. I imagine, though, every time you simulate it, you're going to get a different result, right? And these guys are outnumbered. And these guys over here, look, there's a little crowd of red. There's a little crowd of blue. They're going to meet in the middle again. That guy's holding them out, though. He's holding on for dear life. Here they come. They're going to clash in the middle. I think Blue's going to win. Red is outnumbered. 
And they are getting slapped to death right now. Slapped to death. There you go. Blue victory. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I hope you enjoyed the Totally Accurate Battle Simulations. And leave a like if you did, as always. Thank you for your support on these videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.